Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. We're continuing our exploration of RC Cloud and uh, this is going to be video number five, right? We've already covered model deployment, model merging, uh, model continuous pre-training and uh, model fine-tuning and alignment. And in this one, I'm going to show you uh, how to download models from RC Cloud. So literally how to download weights for models that you have uh, worked on with RC Cloud so that you can run them locally on your machine or uh, deploy them to the cloud or whatever. OK, so we'll use the RC command line. This is a shorter video, super simple, but it's very important um, because this is how you can get your models back and work with them further in your environment of choice. OK, let's do it. This time we're going to be working with a new tool, and that's the uh, RC um, command line interface, right? CLI. It's part of the, it's part of the Python uh, SDK. So uh, if you've installed this already, there's, no, there's nothing else to do, right? Uh, so I guess that's my case. And as you would expect, it's just called RC, OK? And it's got a couple of options, um, and uh, we're going to look at those. Okay, as you can expect, the first step is to store our credentials. So you want to run RC configure and uh, enter your API key. Okay, so the one you created uh, in uh, when you created your RC account. So just just type it in there. Okay, and uh, and that's all there is to it. So. The obvious question is, where is this stored? So it is stored in a file called, called config.json, but the location of the file depends on your platform. So I'm using a Mac, and it lives in that weird Mac place. If you're using Ubuntu or something else, it'll be in a different place. So uh, this is how you find out. Uh, took me a minute to figure that out, but um, the RCCLI actually uses a, a Python library called Typer. And, and so if you run typer and ask it for, hey, what's the what's the app directory you would use for uh, an application called RC, it will print that out, okay? And so let's run this. And yeah, so that's where my file lives, okay? Uh, it's gonna be different for Linux, it's gonna be different for Windows. So just run this and you will know where your config file is. And you can go and check out, it's got your API key. Maybe that path is not what you want. Um, you can actually override it. So if you set uh, the RC config location environment variable, you could uh, you could have your config file elsewhere. So let's say I want to I want to move my config file to my home directory. I can just do that and then set my RC config location to this, right? So that's the, how you do it. Uh, once you've uh, configured your API key, you can check that things work by just working RC org and it should print out your uh, your default organization. Okay, that's all there is to it. So very simple setup. So how do we download weights? Um, so you just run the RC tool with the download command and the model name. And you really only need to say, hey, am I working with a continuous a continuously pre-trained model, a merge model, or an aligned model, a supervised fine-tuning model. So for example, if I wanted to download the weights for um, the model I aligned in the in the model alignment video, I and I would say RC SFT download name llama blah blah blah. Okay. And you'll just download those that model and that's gonna be big, right? Um, it's gonna be gigabytes and gigabytes. So make sure you have extra space. Um, and it, it may take a while, right? So once this is over, you will have this uh, tar.jz file with uh, the weights. So you can extract it. Um, so you can use uh, you can use a gzip as always, or you can use pigs, which is a, a parallel implementation of uh, gzip, and uh, it's generally quite faster. Okay, and uh, it's available everywhere. So on Mac, it's just you know brew install pigs, uh, but I guess you could sudo yum install pigs and 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 whatever variant you require, okay? So once you extract that, uh, well, you will have uh, your uh, typical model directory, um, similar to what you would see in a hogging face repository with the safe tensors, etc. okay? 
And now, of course, you can just go and load the model, for example, with the Hugging Face Transformers library, right? So just point at your model directory and use the uh, the appropriate auto objects for uh, for that model and just load it, okay? And that's all there is to it. So um, very, very simple uh, process. Just set up the command line and uh, and run RC blah 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 download blah 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 depending on what kind of model you're after and that's all there is it right so i told you this would be a shorter video uh, but there's no reason for model download to be complicated okay well that's it for this one and uh, until the next one keep rocking